Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing my week four check-in as well as closing out my April budget. And week four is from the 24th through the 30th of the month. And as you can see this week, we did a little bit more spending. Two items have already been checked off. Those were already marked in the joint budget and the remaining three are for my personal budget. So let's go ahead and mark these off. So the first one that I have here is Glam Planner, which is from the crafting category and that is a total of 5381 check that off. and then in my weekly check-in I already have the crafting set up so I spent a total of 5381 and I know I went over budget in this category um, but glam planner had a really good uh, or a really cute kit for Harry Potter and I needed a Harry Potter kit and I really like that one So I picked it up along with a few other items. I will be doing a haul of that as soon as I get them in So I went over in this category by $44 and 22 cents Erin Condren It was launch day and I didn't purchase a planner but I did purchase some accessories since I usually purchase the planners for like Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale when I can get all of my planners because by then usually the deluxe monthly as well as the academic planner have already been released. So that's when I purchased those. But I picked up some new accessories in case they sold out like they have in the years past. And I had an extra 20% off coupon. So it was basically the same as Black Friday, Cyber Monday anyway. So that was a total of $50.40. And for that category, I have $93.70 remaining. So I spent $50.40 and I have 4337 remaining. And then last but not least is gifts. It was a friend's birthday and we got, some of us got together to order her, I think it was a, like a cookie cake type thing. And that was $10. And in gifts, let's see. I have $78.90. I have 83.91 in gifts, so now I have 73.91 remaining. Okay, and then let's see. Okay, so that is all for my weekly check-in. So now I'm going to, oh, actually, before I finish the weekly check-in, I'm actually going to do the joint weekly check-in. Although I don't think there's anything really to check in for, no, because all the bills have been paid. So this will just be used for when we close out the budget. Okay, so now to close out the budget. Everything is the same as usual. Like I mentioned, I might redesign this page, but for now I'm going to keep it the same. But actually miscellaneous, I did get my stimulus check this month as well as my tax refund. Although those went straight into savings. If you saw my refund video or what I plan to do, you'll know what I plan to do with that. But for now, it's going to wait in savings. And since that's not rolling through the budget this month, I'm going to put um, miscellaneous income as zero since it's just sitting in savings waiting. And again, rollover was zero as well. So my income was normal this month. Okay. Okay. And then this amount, this debt snowball amount, we will calculate at the end. So. Okay, so variable expenses. Gas was $5, so I had $5 remaining. And spending, I actually spent zero for spending this month, which is really good. So variable I actually spent $15 so that means I have a hundred and five so so far I have an extra hundred and five dollars so debt we will look at this at the end when we have the overall numbers 
And then here we are for sinking funds. I know I spent something for beauty. I spent $22.95 in beauty. Clothes, I don't think I spent anything, no. Colton, I don't think I did yet, no. So his birthday is next month. And our anniversary was this month, which I was supposed to buy something, but because of the virus, the shop that I'm going to get it from, it's closed. So I'm going to wait for them to reopen to purchase that. And his birthday gift they haven't purchased yet. So that's what that money will be for. Crafting, I know I spent some. So I spent 45 43 the first week. And then 53.81 the second. So crafting this month, I spent 99.24. Donations, I didn't donate anything. Erin Condren, 3123, 50, 81.63. A lot of planning related purchases this week. Gifts was just $10. Medical, nope. Scuba. Wedding technology. Okay. So let's add up all my spent. So $22.95 plus $99.24 plus $81 plus $10. So, so far, or actually in total this month, I spent $213.82. And then, so let's calculate the totals here. So 82, 92, plus 20, minus 22, 95. Oops. So beauty, I should have 79, 97 remaining, yep. Close, I should have 143, 29. Colton, 111, 21. Crafting, I was over by 44.22. Donations. And Condren, I have 43.37. And actually, this will be adjusted because this is a cash envelope, so I shouldn't have any change in that. But I'll adjust that in the new beginning total for next month. Gifts. $73.91. Medical. Scuba. Susan's wedding. Should we six us? Perfect. So all this comes to eighteen seventy-eight plus five twenty. Minus 213.82. So that leaves me with $2,185.11. And then as usual, I'm just going to add up the cents to see. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Actually, let me just do this. 7 plus 9, 2. Oh, that does not add up. I'll f oh, I shouldn't have added that. I should have subtracted that. That's why. 7 plus 9 plus 1 minus 2. It ends in one. Okay, perfect. I'll do this math to make sure it's actually right later. But for now, this gets it filled in at the end to see how much I have left over. Okay, so individual budget has been closed out. Let's close out the joint. Let me just twist that so I have room. So date night. 
we had three dollars and 34 cents remaining which means we spent ninety six dollars and sixty six cents did i do that math right yes and then groceries we were over by forty five seventy one which means we spent three ninety five seventy one. Okay. So in total ninety six sixty six plus three ninety five seventy one. We spent four ninety two thirty seven, which means we were over by Forty-two thirty-seven, which let's see. This adds up, so three thirty-four minus twenty or forty-two thirty-seven. Perfect. Okay, so that is done, and then now for the sinking funds household. We were over by thirty four thirty five, and Sun Pass, we have fifty remaining, which means we spent twenty here, and let's see one. Oops, one twenty for thirty plus thirty four thirty five. We spent one fifty eight sixty five here. So in total, we spent one seventy eight sixty five, which means eighteen fifty three point three plus six twenty two minus one seventy eight sixty five. We have $2,296.65 remaining. And there's a five on the end, so that most likely adds up. Okay, so now that the joint budget has been closed, I can find out what my debt snowball amount is. So, from the get go, I had $341 unaccounted for in the budget so that counts and then I had an extra 105 here and then I went over by $44 so minus $44.22 okay and then so as of now I have $64 remaining but now I have to count for the joint over budget so so let me write this down actually we'll get it posted now I'm just gonna use this sheet here so I have 64 19 remaining and then what we went over in the joint I'm responsible for half of that so 42 37 plus 34 35 is the total that we so in our joint budget we went over by a total of 76 dollars so divide that by two is 38 36 Oops. so in total i have 25 dollars and 83 cents remaining so, since I like to give, or oops, sorry, I like to give the debt payments and uh, oh, what what are they called? Um, intervals of twenty five. So I'm gonna put an extra twenty five towards debt, which means I put a total of one seventy five towards debt, and then oh, I'll calculate that in a second, and then I have an extra eighty three cents. 
that I can put, oop, I actually put 150, not 50. So I have an extra 83 cents that I can put. So that I put a total, oops, an extra of 83 cents. And I realized I just filled this out the other way. Uh, can I white out the sticker? Where's my white out? Let's see if I can do this. So this. So I actually paid 150, which means I gave an extra 25. Okay. So now my new debt total at the end of this month, let's see, is 23.18. Oops. So we're getting down to the bottom there. And then for Susan and Brandon's wedding, since I gave an extra 83 cents, I have this total plus 83 cents. So 607.58 plus 83 cents. So now I have $608.41 saved up for that. So even if I was only to put 83 cents towards that, 83 cents is 83 cents. So I'm really happy about that. So the total that I was able to put towards that snowball was 25.83. So I was able to put an additional 22.42 towards my savings which is really exciting. So that was all for my April budget. Let me know how you guys did in the month of April as well. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.